playing up and down the register. A leap is where you skip over uh, a note and go to like open more than one hole or close more than one hole at once. And up until this point, we've been playing stepwise, which means we've been climbing up and down the musical ladder one step at a time. And that could sound like this. Now, we're going to introduce this idea of leaps. So a leap could happen, for example, when you open up all the bottom holes at the same time. So you might want to practice doing that. And you can open up, you can cover the holes. I want to mention right now that when you play the flute, a great way to make sure that you get some accuracy when, you're, when you go to cover the holes, because that's the thing that's going to be difficult at first. When you cover the holes, you want it to be there, right? You want to be right over that hole so you don't get any, any of, those, uh, of those leaky notes. And one great way to ensure the most success with that is to what I call hover your fingers over the holes so that when you, when you remove your fingers from the note, you're not going like this. This is what sometimes I see beginners doing. They open way up and now Look how far I have to travel back down to that hole. Well, I could just go like this. I could just hover my fingers right over. And if you watch some experienced flute players, I would bet you a nickel that that's what they're doing. They're just hovering. So I'll play again and pay attention to how far off the flute I'm removing my fingers. Not too far, maybe a half an inch, uh, a, a centimeter, something like that. Okay, so that's another muscle memory thing. So at first you're gonna have to be consciously aware of doing that and resist the temptation to woo, open up all your fingers. But that's something that you'll do over time and you'll thank me for that tip later. All right, this is another great time to talk about um, how to remove condensation from your flute. If you've been playing a little bit now, let's say 10, 15 minutes, your flute, the tone of your flute might be changing and it might be changing due to moisture buildup inside the flute in this area. And it's not anything bad that happens, it's just something that happens, especially if you're playing in colder air where you're, the difference between your breath, your breath is warm and the air is cold, that's gonna cause more condensation. Or if you're playing in a very uh, humid area, you might also find that your flute waters out faster. So if that starts happening, you'll notice that the the voice of your flute seems to sort of vanish. It's like it gets a gets a hoarse throat or something and it the voice will sort of go away. And that might be confusing. You might think your fruit your flute is broken, but it's it's not broken. It just needs a little bit of attention. So one thing you can do to get that moisture out and I did mention this earlier is you can actually take off the whole bird. Uh, but for just blowing out some moisture while you're playing, if you don't want to take your flute apart, uh, you can place a finger over part of, not the whole thing, but part of the sound hole, like this, and then blow firmly into your flute, like that. And you're, you will literally just blow the water or condensation moisture out of the sound hole, okay? I do not recommend that you whip your flute down or shake your flute out. It's a little bit dangerous, and you could damage your flute or get moisture all over the place. Uh, if there's people around you, they probably won't appreciate that. <laughs> um, all right, so uh, then if your flute gets really uh, wetted out or watered out, then you need to take the bird off and let it dry out. Okay, so I did say we're going to talk a little bit about playing up and down the flute. It's just as simple as starting at the bottom or the top, placing your fingers down or lifting them up all the way up and all the way down the flute. So here's a little example of that, and I'll throw in some leaps as well. Alright, 
so now you're using the ha breath, the ta breath, you're playing all the notes of the flute, you're playing stepwise motion up and down, and you can do some leaps. So remember, your basic leaps would be open up the three bottom holes, open up the top two holes, uh, place them back down. You could place down all the holes at once. Okay, in the next section, we're going to be looking at something called ornamentation, which is a way to add little musical treatments to the notes you play and change the, the sound of the notes you play to make them a little more interesting and give a little more texture to your playing. If you like this lesson, please make sure you like and subscribe and share this channel with your friends so we can all have more people to play with. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.